Hello everybody and welcome to a Blender Game Engine tutorial. This tutorial is on modeling, texturing, and animating realistic trees for the Blender Game Engine. As you can see, I've already finished the tutorial, but the intro for it has cut out. The first step to the tutorial is head over to your user preferences and enable the saplings add-on. The rest is explained in the tutorial. Without further ado, enjoy. And then we can add a curve, a sapling. Beautiful. Right off the bat, you see that took no time at all. We have a really nice shape of a tree already. So, over on the left here, we have this uh, very useful panel. Um, make sure you don't move the tree, because if you move the tree, you lose access to this panel. So make sure you fidget with this panel first, and then you can go ahead and, and fidget with the tree. But we're going to go ahead and enable bevel, so we can actually get some shape to that tree. And then we're going to start at the very top here, armature. Uh, now, if I click use armature, you can see it generates a skeleton for this... Uh, this tree which is very useful uh, for animations because that is way too many bones for a tree um, so we're gonna make our own or our own later for it um, but for now let's head over to leaves uh, so if I click show leaves you can see what that does it just creates some leaves for our branches um, and this value here uh, generates how many leaves uh, like I said we don't want it to be already 4,000 um, vertices there just from these leaves um, which is way too many uh, for a game engine, especially if it's a it's a area with a lot of trees. It's so we're going to remove those leaves and just leave it blank for now and go over to branch growth. Uh, this is essentially uh, how long and uh, how wide the trees will grow or the, the branches will grow so you can affect that value there. Um, these two values will affect the um, children of those branches uh, but because we haven't enabled any splitting it's not gonna these values aren't going to do anything. Uh, this is the length of the actual tree here, um, so you can adjust that like you want. Uh, the curvature, this is a, an important value. Uh, you can see the, the uh, it has a slight curve to it, and if I uh, manipulate this value, you can see what that does. Um, now trees actually do have a, a little bit of a natural curve to them, so I am going to leave it just like that, because I think that looks pretty good to be able to see it with the human eye, but there is a very slight rotate. Um, on some trees it can be quite drastic and you can see it for sure but uh, most trees have a very a very to them. Um, next thing we do is branch splitting. So yeah like I said we can we can add some splits to our uh, our branch here. Um, our branches sorry by just adjusting these value but um, I'm not going to because like I said we don't want that many vertices and this looks pretty good. Here we can adjust the amount of branches so if I bump that down to 30 I think that's way more uh, realistic for a game engine. Uh, I can go over to geometry and we're back where we started. So I think that looks pretty good for a uh, uh, coniferous tree. This is going to be my pine tree. Uh, so I'm going to basically grab this and move it over and create a new uh, sapling. And the nice thing about this, uh, this tree generator is the presets. So uh, what you can do is if you save a tree you like, you can export that preset and it'll save it here. Um, the other thing you can do is use the ones already provided. Um, so we've got a, a nice willow tree here. You know, that looks really cool. And that's, uh, that's game ready basically once you texture it. Um, we've got uh, an aspen preset, black oak preset, and black dipello preset. So I'm going to go with this, this oak preset here, and uh, I'm just going to kind of have some fun with this. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. And next thing we want to do is uh, Alt-C and Mesh from Curve. Alt-C, Mesh from Curve. Uh, now what I'm going to do is unwrap these in this episode, and then in the next episode, uh, we're going to texture them 
and in the episode after that, we're going to animate them. So, uh, to unwrap these bad boys, um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to join them just to make the texturing easier. Uh, and I'm going to uh, grab uh, some edges here using Alt click. Uh, and basically, along most of the uh, the trees, or, or, or sorry, all of the um, the branches is what I'm saying. Or trying to say. It's early. Forgive me. Okay, just like that, you see we've laid it out uh, in a nice UV map so we can texture these later. Um, now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make the planes for the leaves. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this one over here uh, and add in a plane and subdivide it. And I'm going to unselect the corners and raise the middle. going to put that right here for now. Uh, now the reason I'm not moving it uh, or copying it yet is because um, we don't have uh, enough of them yet. They're all going to use the same texture so uh, we can just do one right now and then texture these both and uh, make our lives a lot easier later. So I'm going to put these over here these will unwrap separately. Because these are going to use transparency. So we can go ahead and uh, separate these ones. And uh, we'll call it a day for now. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial uh, where we will texture these trees.